Hello friends. In this video we will learn about our Earth's satellites. The Earth is spherical in shape. It is made up of three layers, crust, mantle and core. Crust is the outermost layer of the Earth which is made up of solid rocks, soil and sand. We live on this layer. Mantle is the layer lies below the crust. Its upper part is made up of solid rocks and inner part is made up of molten rocks. Core forms the center of the earth. It is divided into outer core and inner core. The outer core contains iron and nickel in molten state and the inner core is entirely made up of iron. Natural Satellite, Moon The moon is the earth's nearest neighbor. It revolves around the earth. Moon does not have its own light. It shines by reflecting the sunlight. The moon is about 4,500 million years old, the same age as the Earth. It is the natural satellite of the Earth. The moon does not have any atmosphere. Thus it is hit by meteors and rocks moving in the space. This has resulted in the formation of craters and pits on the moon's surface. The surface of the moon is uneven. It has mountains, plains, craters and volcanoes. No life exists on the moon due to the absence of water and atmosphere. The moon's gravity is one-sixth of the gravity of the Earth. Therefore, the objects that are too heavy on the Earth, are six times lighter on the surface of the moon. As there is no atmosphere on the moon, so there is no protection from the strong rays of the sun. In the absence of air, no sound can be heard on the moon. There are no clouds to hide the sun. The side of the moon facing the sun is extremely hot and the side away from the sun is too cold to support life. Ever since ancient times, the moon has been a subject of interest among astronomers. The first spacecraft to land on the moon was Apollo 11 which was launched by Kennedy Space Center, Florida, USA, on July 16, 1969. Neil Armstrong Michael Collins and Edwin Aldrin from USA were the first to step on the moon on July 20, 1969. As the moon revolves around the Earth its shape appears to change. The different shapes of the moon are called the phases of the moon. Phases are caused by the changing positions of the sun, moon and Earth with respect to each other. The moon's gravity is very weak, but it pulls the water of the seas and oceans of the earth, causing tides. Since the moon is closer to the earth than the sun, the moon's pull on the water is stronger than the sun. The water of the seas and the oceans on the side of the earth which faces the moon is attracted upwards. This causes sea level to rise and forms high tide. Another high tide occurs on the opposite side of the earth because of its rotation. The water of the region in between the two high tides falls and forms low tide. The intensity of the tides vary with the phases of the moon. The highest tides occur at the time of the new moon and the full moon. An eclipse occurs when an object in space blocks the view of another object such that it cannot be seen partially or completely. Eclipse are nothing but the shadows of the earth. A solar eclipse occurs when the moon comes in between the sun and the earth. It blocks the sunlight from reaching the earth and creates a shadow. A solar eclipse may be total or partial. In a total solar eclipse, the sun is not visible at all. In a partial solar eclipse, a part of the sun is visible. Solar eclipse occurs only during the daytime on a new moon day. Various Stages of Solar Eclipse A lunar eclipse occurs when the Earth comes in between the Sun and the Moon. It blocks the path of the sunlight from reaching the Moon and creates a shadow. In a total lunar eclipse, the Moon is not visible at all. In a partial lunar eclipse, only a part of the Moon is visible. Lunar eclipse occurs only on a full Moon day. Various Stages of a Lunar Eclipse Artificial satellites are man-made. They are launched from the Earth. They revolve around the Earth much closer than its natural satellite. 
the first artificial satellite Sputnik 1 was sent by the former USSR in 1957. On April 3, 1984 squadron leader Rakesh Sharmar became India's first man to go into space. In 1997, Kalpana Chawla became the first Indian woman to go into the space. Aribata was the first Indian satellite launched. Some other satellites that have been launched are, INSAT, IRS, Kalpana 1 and Adasat. The Mars Orbiter mission also called Mangalyaan is a space probe orbiting Mars since 24 September 2014. It was launched on 5 November 2013 by the Indian Space Research Organization. It is the India's first interplanetary mission. India became the first country to successfully complete maiden Mars mission and also fourth country to successfully venture into Mars. Its objective to explore Mars' surface and study its features, morphology and atmosphere by indigenous scientific instruments. ESRO's Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle 727.5 kg Cutasat 2 Series Satellite along with 19 co-passenger. It was launched on 22 June 2016 from Satish Dhawan Space Center Shar, Sri Harikota. Till now five Cutasat satellites have been launched by ESRO. This series is a part of the Indian Remote Sensing Program. IRNSS-1 G is the seventh satellite in the Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System. It is an independent regional navigation satellite system. GSAT-15 is a communication satellite which was launched on 11 November 2015. Hope you understand everything about Earth's satellites. Please do like share and subscribe our channel.